Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most iconic cars ever produced by Chevrolet, a 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible. Give you all a skinny in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. The home to close to 100 classic and collectible cars, ranging all the way from 1920s all the way up until 1970 and beyond. You're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to do a walk around. We got a cold start. We're going to show you it with the top up and the top down. Get all those little details that's going to help you in your buying decisions on, on a 1957 Chevy. One just like this one right here. Really nice car. You can find all of our cars at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. And you can look at that 24 hours a day. You can see all our latest and greatest additions, newest arrivals, and close to 100 cars in inventory at the moment. But 57 Chevrolets in its original Imperial white, it's just absolutely just spellbound color. It's Imperial ivory paint all the way around. It has just really, really that look. 1957 Chevys, of course, was one of the most iconic cars ever produced. And everybody looks at them, loves them. And to me, the Bel Air convertible is absolutely one of the greatest cars that you can have as a collector. Great car to own as a collector. Of course, this car came with the 283. This motor has been gone through. It is 30 over. It is just, you can't believe the receipts that they have for all the work that's done. This thing runs like a top again. Watch the video. You're going to hear how nice this thing starts and runs. Uh, it also has an upgraded power steering unit in it, a dual master cylinder, which is for safety sake, probably not a bad idea because in the old days when your master cylinder with a single failed, <coughs> sometimes it resulted in the car not stopping, which with the dual, that's why that's a safety measure that I love. Beautiful wheels and tires on this car. It's got the wide white radials. I mean, the radial tires are probably one of the biggest improvements that these old cars could ever have come across in our day and age because everybody looks at them and just says, it just makes the car right there with that wide white. And look at that, it's got the full hubcap, the upgraded spinners. I mean, that is the top of the line for Chevrolet. Of course, you have the gold trim that tells you it's a V8 car, of course. Absolutely. Now let's take a look at the rest of the car, looking in the, into the interior. It's got a very nice custom interior, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, red with the piping, with the silver piping. Someone has even went so far as put red matching seat belts in the car, which is really, really a nice addition, if you know, if you ask me, for the safety of this day and age. It's just something we're kind of used to. Take a look at the inside. Nice original dash, all the gauges are nice, great condition. Doesn't show a whole lot of miles since it got done, but it has, uh, you know, just super, super well put together interior. It looks like all the trim has been replaced. Looks like an original type radio. It looks like there's even maybe uh, something for a Bluetooth or something in here as well. Uh, again, extra accessories that someone ordered on this car. You've got dual outside mirrors. They even went so far as to put in power windows, which is really, again, a nice thing on a convertible power top as well. I mean, that kind of goes without saying on a 57 Chevy, that would be kind of a big, big top to try to do by yourself, but it's a power top. So at the switch of a button, the top goes right on up. A uh, beautiful red boot, dual exhaust, of course, with the performance that this car has, kind of a nice sound to it as well. I mean, you can find all of our cars on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. You know, give us a like, Leave us a comment and subscribe. We appreciate it. And it also, if you have time to spare or whatever, you're perusing the internet, what better things to do than look at old cars? That's something that I personally do myself. Again, nice glass all the way around. Chrome is really, really nice. I love the you know, 57 Chevys with their small with the little fins in the back. Nice room in the trunk for that extra set of golf clubs or two that you want to take. Um, this car also has one other accessory that is really common on these old cars, and that would be the fender skirts. I mean, these are all those upgrades that someone really has done a nice job of putting this car together all the way around. Uh, like I say, 57 Chevy converts. I don't know, can't hardly get much better if you're a Chevy lover. 
Um, you can come and look at the car in person if you're so inclined. We'd love to have you come down to Ellingson Motor Cars. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you're a guy like me, sometimes I like to come here and you know, put my hands on it, touch it, take a look at it, look at all the details. But yeah, you'll notice we'll have some really great pictures of this car, the nice walk around. You're going to see all the great details of this car. So if you're looking to add to your collection, or maybe it's your first convertible, maybe that's uh, what you're looking for, and what better car could you get than a 57 Chevy Bel Air convertible? Well, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Well, today we're going to show you how slick these tops work on a 57 Chevy. Like I said, there's just a little button under the dash. You just push this magic button. And lo and behold, magically, the soft top comes up. Boy, this would be a hard one to do if you had to do it by hand. Oh, another thing I should always mention, put the visors down. That way you don't ever catch them on any of the mechanism or whatever, which is just one of those things you just try to remember if you can do it. And we always like to run the cars when you put up if you get a chance because I think it's easier on the electrical system and everything about it. And I always kind of help catch just I don't need to have it come down too hard or anything. Look at that. There we go. Just put it like this. And there. That's all you have to do. There's two latches on the inside. Unlatch them again. I didn't do the other side. And you just pull the button outwards and look how slick this one works. Wow, that's a beautiful inside as well. It's all brand new. All the stuff has been painted to match. Very nice. New rubber. Whoever did this car did it right. That is for sure. No ifs, ands, or buts. And like I said, it's got a nice red boot. And it's, it's all ready to roll just like that. Look at that. Man, very good. All right, well, there you go. That's the way she works. It's a piece of cake. <laughs>